welcome back. Today we're going to be making a pet hoodie. And with this, we will be offering the pattern for you and then it's really easy to manipulate the size of it. It just takes the length of your pet's back and then the circumference of its stomach and then you can just change it up to fit yours. So um, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we've got the body piece, the hood, and the little button flare just for accent um, right there. So then we need to cut two of each. So the black is gonna be the lining, the inside, and this right here is gonna be what you see on the outside. Um, and then in addition to this, you'll need two buttons and a half inch of Velcro. So the first thing we start with is the hood. And we're going to place the fabric right sides together, both for the outer fabric and for the lining. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew just along the outside curve of each. Once you've got that sewn, then you're going to sew the right sides together and just line up this whole longest edge you've got and just make sure that the seams are lined up and just straight stitch or serge. So to finish off the hood, we went ahead and top stitched it and then surged it at the bottom to keep the two pieces from sliding around. Then from there, we are going to attach it to the body and you're gonna put the right sides together, the outside facing pieces, fabrics together and match up the middle with the middle. This curve right here is gonna be going around the, your pet's neck, so right there. And then you're gonna to wanna to sandwich this hood in between the outer fabric and the lining. And pinning this, I highly recommend doing that because you're gonna be stitching or serging together three layers of fabric. So just go ahead and serge around the entire body of the pet body and then at the very tail end, you're gonna wanna leave open three to four inches so then you can turn the whole thing right side out.
Once you've got it all serged or sewn and turned right side out, in order to close this open end, you're just gonna fold in the raw edges and just top stitch along that and we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and top stitch the whole entire thing. All right, and for the accent piece, same concept. Right sides together, sew around, leaving a little hole open, turn it right side out, and then top stitch all around to close. All right, for the accent piece, we went ahead and put it on with snaps. Um, earlier I said you'll need two buttons, so you could either use buttons in place of that or just go ahead and sew all the way around. Whatever you wanna do is fine. And then for the connecting pieces, you'll need Velcro, which earlier I said a half inch, which clearly you need more than that. This is about two inches. So then you'll have about an inch for um, each like the front flaps and the back flaps. So you'll just wanna go ahead and so one on the outside. So for the left side, we're gonna put it on the outside fabric. And then on the right side, we're going to put it on the inside of the fabric. So we're just gonna go ahead and sew those on. Alright, here is the finished product and again these can be made for your dog, your cat, your guinea pig, I don't know. If you make one, you can tag us on Instagram or just uh, hashtag properfitclothing. I'd love to see what you guys come up with for your animals, it's so cute. 
But um, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in and uh, make sure to like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks guys.